Okay, hi everyone. Recovery from grief, it has landed. <laughs> okay, uh, recovery from grief. I'm sharing my experience of how I came to overcome the loss of my sister, who was basically everything to me. Uh, she was my reference point whenever things were not going right into my life, whenever I needed someone to lean on, someone uh, to comfort me. Uh, she was basically everything. And um, her passing there, <laughs> therefore was a big kind of a uh, no man's land. Uh, I didn't know what to do and I basically couldn't find the comfort and soothing from anybody else because she was the one I was used to. and. Uh, I was so used to a few words from her, a cuddle or anything, very tiny bit from her was so perfect to snap me out of it and make me feel good that when she passed, um, hmm, I needed comfort and she wasn't there. So it was like, yeah. So uh, yes, uh, the recovery journey was, huh, it took 18 years, people, 18 Mm, years uh, and uh, reaching through the end uh, I got strongly very strongly inspired to share my experience so that other people going through the same thing can have some help and guidance and some inspiration and at least some ideas on how to start and go about it um, I tried to dismiss all these inspiration and nudges I had to write this book but the more I was trying to to dismiss it the more I was told mm, the book the book the book uh, i even at some point uh, read through an inspiration that um for the one who believe in god yeah we don't have to believe in god but uh, we all have our beliefs but basically i got um i was asking and praying for stuff and the answer i got was why would i give you what you want when you're not giving me what i want and what i was being asked to do was to share my experience because there are people out there who have who are going through what I've been through and who have no clue uh, on how to do it. And the key words, I would say, the very key word, the whole thing from all these pages is trust your intuition. Your intuition is your biggest, uh, best friend, your you would not have better help than your own intuition because your intuition or your guardian angel or your spirit family murmuring to your ears the solution the answers to your questions yes so trust your intuition your intuition would either give you ideas or it will take your attention to specific things, to specific movies, to specific books, to specific videos, to things particular and while you're listening, reading or paying attention to this thing, there will be some specific thing that will snap in your head. You will be like, oh, ha. Ah. And that is what your intuition basically purpose is. The, if you imagine, it's as if you were having, um, let's say you decide to go on a trip and then but the trip you need to go by yourself because there are loads of things you need to learn on this trip but then you're so fearful and then you say well i so much want to go on this trip because i want to explore and discover all these things but i'm scared to go it alone because i don't know what to do and then you've got all your buddies and family saying yes go home go 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 don't, don't be fearful we'll be around whenever you need we'll be there to guide you and help you and give you suggestions well it's the same thing the spirit god are these people behind we do not see etc but all they are here to do they're always watching over us they're always here for us and whenever we have a doubt what they do is they murmur the idea toward us or they will put things on our path to guide us and that's how basically overall I came to overcome my grief uh, it took me <laughs> it took me uh, 15 years first to start trusting my intuitions uh, because I wouldn't want to believe in it um, it was I was um, I was very, um, I had two ma main things in my grieving. I had missing my sister, but I was also very angry at my fellow humans uh, because the way she passed was basically really, really horrible. And uh, I, I got angry at the, at, at the, at the, um, uh, at the hospital she died. I, I got angry at the, uh, 
the, the, the jurisdiction system that was to handle her case and let us know how she died and therefore I extrapolated that to the all humankind and I was like woof I don't want to have to do anything with mankind anymore but the, and therefore it took me 15 years to finally um, start paying attention to my intuition and how it happened is I was uh, at the time commuting three hours to work on the Monday and on the Friday working remotely uh, from home and then coming back uh, on the weekend and uh, so these three hours basically my attention was uh, turned into uh, three hours videos <laughs> three hours and three hours this is not accident and actually these three hours allowed me to start paying attention to my to my intuition and um, and uh, <laughs> And, and, and discover that, uh, well, they, over the time, discover that nothing happened by accident. Because after uh, listening to this uh, audiobook, I went on a retreat organized by the author. And there, I finally started uh, accepting and reconnecting with fellow humans because I finally realized that there were loads of people going through very, very unfair trauma and, and, and challenges and, uh, and, uh, and they were accepting to live. Uh, where I was just waiting for my time to come. I was so eager to die. Uh, the only reason I didn't die was because my mother was there and my mother already had lost a child and I couldn't impose my death to her. So I decided to, to live until she passed. So I, actually, I too can pass. And so this um, um, uh, retreat came by and I initially tried to dismiss as well the retreat. But the thing is the retreat first day was happening on the fur on the day of my birthday and that was another big nudge telling me look you looking you, you you're looking for answer we are giving you huge hints here stop denying them and just go on the stuff take action on the inspiration we're giving you so i, I took action on the inspiration and it all started from there basically um i explained i explained all the process here on how overall with all the things put on my path uh, I, I managed to finally trust my intuition and I'm so grateful because without that I wouldn't have uh, without that I wouldn't have the banana today <laughs> because my intuition also took me early this year onto a uh, another retreat uh, which I would oh gosh um, without this I think final retreat final help I wouldn't pr very likely have written this book because during this retreat which was an ayahuasca experience for the one who have heard about it. I describe briefly in this book. Um, the ayahuasca experience is the, uh, the one of the soul and it allows um, you to have a further answer to your questions. And my request was to meet my soul so I can understand, um, I can remember the reason why I on earth uh, I decided to be born and experience humanhood and uh, I had that was granted to me <laughs> and it was oh my god it was awesome seriously it was great and from then on I mean um, fear of death gone um, accepting to stay okay I agree now to stay uh, taking life a bit more lightly is fine my grief my pain I it's <laughs> it's uh, it, it's it's gone because death is just a transition death is just the death of the body it's not the death of who we are as an essence as a soul which is within this body because the, within the ayahuasca i was granted to basically escape from this body and uh, return home and then be reminded of who i am which i was asked asking for and uh, be reminded why i chose to unearth and then um with this uh, privilege, I was asked what I was going to do with um, this remembering. And I said, well, OK, I've been told I need to share my experience. Uh, so other people going through this challenge of deep loss can have some um, ideas on how and where to start and basically where to start? I started by overloading and drowning my head into work, so not to think, yes. But then once that was passed, um, I started to uh, go on the retreat. And then once I got to the retreat, then oh, everything just... Once I started to, 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 to agree uh, to the journey of recovery, 
I got so much help. You have no idea. I described a few of, the, a few of them in here. So I'm not a big public person. I'm, I like my privacy, but this is something I am to do because there are people who, out there who need it. So if you come through, um, come through this video and you think that you don't uh, necessarily need it, that's fine. It may be that you are to be the messenger to somebody who needs it. So take re the references and pass, pass it on. The book is on, available on Amazon in the English version. Uh, it's on paperback, it's in Kindle, it will soon be on audiobook as well for the people who cannot see uh, and for the people who have vision impairment like my sister and my uh, niece. Uh, therefore reading for them is kind of a straining uh, and for people who cannot read because there are people who cannot read so they can benefit as well from the information. Um, I'm looking to translate it as well into other languages like French which is my native tongue and I'm looking to translate it into Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, German, uh, <laughs> Chinese, Arabic, all the languages I know of and that are easy for me to have, uh, have it uh, translated into. So it will be available on Amazon. Uh, keep an eye on there, out on there. And then please, 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 if you hear uh, or witness somebody who is struggling with death and letting go with their departed, this book is being written for them. I was not granted anything in my life uh, other than just the lodging, the work, so I can carry on maintaining the human and being in, in, in the human experience. But this, my, um, how, how I came to recover from grief, uh, the strength and the, um, the willingness I had to do it were the key and I, I am to share this. So please pass it on so other people can <laughs> get the banana because seriously, we need to get over um, the, 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 the pain of loss because actually it's not necessary. And ultimately um, my deepest wish is that everybody um, get to transcend this pain because they're actually, just the body is dead. They're there, they're just all around us. And when, you, when we feel their, their, their essence, their warmth and hurt, it's them, it's really there. So <laughs> happy discovery, thanks.